Hey, hello YouTube. Good evening, whatever time it might be when you see this video. Um, doing a video by request. Um, some people had uh, seen Tony. Tony just got a uh, new boonie cover. And I commented on it that he needed to uh, modify it because the brims are so big. And I got a couple requests to uh, kind of demonstrate that, I guess, or whatever. Um, so that one I'm going to do. Um, so in particular, the uh, Marine Marpat issued boonie covers, if you've seen them, you notice that the brims are exceptionally wider, uh, excessively so, especially when you put them on. People look pretty goofy sometimes. So um, <clears throat> what you can do is you can trim off the brim to help uh, make it more practical, make it more uh, less of a disc sitting on top of your head, uh, especially if you don't uh, need it sticking out that far if you don't like it in particular, you know, self-preference. And it's a simple process to do that. And there you can see it's trimmed, if you look at your boonie, it's trimmed by this uh, piece, trim piece that goes along the edge and outside. And all I do is um, take the stitching out of that piece to uh, get started. Kind of like that seam that I just now saw. I think they're called jaw rocks. Jaw ones, yeah, that's right. Jaw ones, yeah. Jaw ones. So, <clears throat> there you can see that trim piece comes all the way off. Oh, a little stitch at the end. So there's your trim piece. You just set that aside. You're going to reuse that to finish it off later. But what you'll see, all you want to do is follow the seams if you just want to get a semi, you know, relatively good circle that goes back around and just trim it down. Now, there are many options to this. I have seen people who have cut off the front flat like that uh, especially in uh, special ops types units uh, for point man and stuff like that they specifically have a boonie and they cut off the front boonie like that or you can do it more of an oval where it's shorter in the front and gets wider around the ears and then back in kinda um, so it's really how you really like it um, depends on what you want to do but a good thing to use to get that started obviously you can use scissors uh, trauma shears work particularly well but I'll just follow the seam around and I'm gonna stay outside of the seam here cutting just on the edge of the seam so that it helps me maintain that brim
So you get done trimming, uh, you want to put your brim piece on back on, but you can just go ahead and pop it on, look in the mirror, see if that fits what you want it. If you wanted to shape it any way you wanted to or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Depending on how much more you trim, trim it down, you might have to cut off some of this, trim it, you know, so you can fit it. And it's best to make your seam directly in the back. At least that's just you know, that's the way it comes to the manufacturer. Just put it back on the same way. Obviously, it doesn't really matter where you put it, but that's just the OCD part of most people. So put it back on, <clears throat> and you can use pins to hold it in place if you wanted to. measurement because obviously I've shortened the brim so you can see I've got about two inches of trim here so I'll cut it so there's still some overlap over here to uh, use and then uh, just break out your trusty needle and thread and sew this trim piece back on. Um, obviously, you could use a machine or whatever. Um, so when I go to sew, I'm scared of those things. I just so start back here. At the, I just use the needle and thread where the trim piece starts. And we'll do that next. Just go to town. Um, obviously, your your own skill set, depending on your sewing skill, it'll uh, depend on how this comes out. But uh, just, you know. You're not going for looks, it's about function over looks. So just make sure you get it down tight. Use some good quality thread. Don't use anything junky. And make sure you get this piece where you start off good if, before you start uh, moving around. Um, I've done this to any number of boonies, I mean, to six or seven boonies, I guess. And the boonie is always worn out either from the top or the front brim before this trim piece is even thought about coming off. So um, it's not that difficult. And half those times I was using, um, you know, military issued sewing kit, which if you've ever seen one of those, the thread in those is less than stellar. <laughs> One thing I have noticed, these newer boonies like this, um, they don't shrink as much as the older ones. Uh, a lot of the older woodland style and even the old desert style, they would shrink along the brim uh, if you just washed it in hot water. And uh, some people would remember doing that. Um, so they would shrink their boonie before, and not, uh, before they would trim it to uh, make sure it was uh, not shrink further when they trimmed it. If that, does that make sense? Don't trim it until you've washed it, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> and you can do the same for these. These don't shrink nearly as much, though. It doesn't seem like they hold their, uh, natu their original shape and size a lot better than the older ones. So just a note there, if you run across some old surplus stuff in the woodland or the peanut butter chocolate chip style camis, <clears throat> make sure they got a good wash and uh, before you... Uh, attempt to trim that piece or think about it <clears throat> but they're not nearly as wide a brim either and that was I guess it's one of the advantages of these is if you've got a different shape head or something or it's more sensitive to the sun you can keep the wider boonie up brim on there but uh, while still uh, being able to modify it later if need be like this to uh, cut off some excessive brim because I tell you what, 
it does look goofy when you're walking around sometimes with that super wide brim. I was never a fan of it. <clears throat> See if we can get this done, most freaky tick. As you're going, just make sure you're refitting the trim to be even around the brim itself. And if you're using a machine at this point, you're already done. So congratulations. Um, um, I would definitely say don't follow my stitching method. Get a sewing book or ask your grandmother or something. <laughs> or your mom first before you uh, follow my sewing technique. But... Uh, it's worked for me <laughs> and uh, been fairly durable over the years, so I'm not going to knock it. Reload the thread. When you're restarting another set of thread or you reload like that, it's good to overlap your stitch so that you lock down each other. And this beverage break is brought to you by your good friends at Sierra Nevada. <laughs> sewed back on. Uh, just remember you can do a little variation on that making it wider on the outside around the ears or like I talked about on the front uh, making it a little bit shorter in the front if you're uh, so inclined uh, or whatever. But uh, this is some tips. I know Jay Watt wanted uh, understanding of this and Tony if I can do it you can do it. That was uh, what we would call that's about a two beer effort right there. Um, going at the uh giving the slowest speed um shouldn't take no long than two beers to get that done so a pretty simple project and you don't have that goofy brim that uh well i might make fun of even as useful as it may be it can be a little excessive so that's all from here youtube live free <laughs>